now from the home of the Rangers. We're at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the New York Yankees and the Texas Rangers. It's Rangers baseball next. Matt Moore, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Coming to the plate now, Aaron Judge. And we are set for baseball here this evening. First delivery to him on the way. And we are underway in Arlington as the first pitch of the night is taken here for ball one. And fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Matty B, we've got a team here that's been playing some pretty good baseball. They're not quite in first place yet, Dero, but they're playing good and they'd like to stay competitive through the month of May. Yeah, they've played okay. Let's be honest. They've hit okay. They've pitched okay. They're capable of much better than this, but it's early. We find ourselves just in the early phases of May. Ride it out and find a way to get hot. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. The three one. A swing and a miss and that'll fill the count at three and two. Hey there was great arm action on that three one change up right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit change up or do you stay with the heater? Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. With that, here's a look at the Yankees starting lineup. Dero, how did they lock up a series victory here on the road? Yeah, Matty, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs. At the plate, Didi Gregorius. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Mano a mano matchup numbers against Matt Moore. He's got a three for seven line. The one one home. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of middle down in the zone, D. Rowan. He's going to have to make some better pitches than that. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. Digging in the switch hitter, Neil Walker. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. First pitch coming. Here it is. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Counts even at one and one to Walker. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. 
Hey, behind the dish, D-Row, Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy, works. The only problem, I think, at times, hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit on that inside corner and outside corner. Not very consistent. Yeah, but Larry's approachable. That's the one thing. If you turn around and say, is that as far as you're going on the outer half, he's usually going to tell you. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Digging in now for the Yankees, Giancarlo Stanton. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. Here comes the first pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. This offense has been warned if they didn't know already now they do know he's got his A game fastball with him today. A one one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Pretty late with the swing there as a pitcher you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him and the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. It's the Yankees nothing. Rangers coming to bat on Major League Baseball the show. Jordan Montgomery, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Now at the plate, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings and this team this team's sitting pretty well. Right now time now to look at Jeff Manister's Rangers lineup card in this one Dan who do we keep an eye on well I'm always excited when I get to see Adrian Beltre do his thing I mean he's got over 400 home runs any manager would be happy to pencil his name in the lineup and rely on that power every time he comes to the plate what a luxury this club has. And here's the second generation big leaguer Delino De Shields. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he just misses with a curveball. Hey. Takes a knee high fastball. Hey, from a hitter's perspective, I don't mind that take right there. I know it's in the zone, but this is a hitter's yard. You want something bell high that you can get loose on.
The ball in two strikes. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. Swing and a ground ball to third, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Another try at two two. And a curveball that time that broke too low. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. 3-2 pitch. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two-hole like him. He's almost like another leadoff hitter, working a walk with just one out. And I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is flared out towards second, and that'll get down for a base hit. And he is in there, and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Joey Gallo is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. The Shields at second, Beltre at first, one gone. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Breaking ball, that's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Montgomery has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable, and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty D, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher. Walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters, and when you do that, it's a good recipe for success, and it's worked for him so far in his career. In now the power-hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 0 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Rangers leave a pair. Still no score. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. A little bouncer. That rolls foul for strike one. Oh and one here it comes. A wave and a miss a tick behind a good fastball. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So here's how the Rangers are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at second baseman Rubnet Odor. 
pound for pound one of the strongest guys in the game 30 home run potential but a premium defender at second base and if you don't slide properly into second base he is going to let you know about it Here's Brett Gardner now. Mano a mano matchup numbers against Matt Moore. He's three for 15. Here comes the first pitch. Popped him up. And this is taken in by Beltre for the second out. Batting seven, designated hitter. Aaron. In now is the Yankees DH Aaron Hicks and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for and he offers it the circle change and misses 0 and 1 great off speed pitch right there he was definitely sitting fastball wanted to turn and burn everything went flying this pitcher might be on the attack with that pitch all game long the pitch fastball called strike one and two two balls and two strikes to Hicks now and it's fouled away And he gets under the 2-2 a bit as this is sent in the air out to straightaway central. The Shields is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Up next for the Rangers, Shin Su Chu. And he's seen his numbers on the rise right here over the there. last five games or so. Su Chu. First pitch of the at bat. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A wave and a miss. Hey guys, that's just a nasty pitch right there. I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had about nasty sliders, and that's exactly what that was right there. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Not many guys lay off that pitch. 2-2 is a swing and a miss that's strike three all right here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today and guys the things I want you to focus on today one of them being this manager loves to shift he has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can Set to get his evening at the plate started. Rukna Dodor. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First offering on its way. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Hey, I don't blame him right there. Giving up on that inside curveball. Little front hipper. That's a tough pitch. You just can't figure out where the point of contact should be. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Fouled away. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of the stuff. 
you know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers us there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box now, Jurickson Profar. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. There's a strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. Hit on the ground out to short. Gregorius is there. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rangers. We'll move to the third with no score. Next for New York, number 25. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Number 25. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swinging a soft liner. Oh, but he robs him on a super diving catch. That ball wasn't hit all that hard, but it had base hit written all over it until the infielder made a nice diving stab on that one. In now, Roberto Perez. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Gallo looks up, and this one is gone. A home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first home run of the season as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. After this pitcher sat down six of his teammates in a row, he was looking to break through against him with anything. Well, a home run will definitely suffice. Great job of breaking the string and getting his team going right there. Here's big Aaron Judge. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. Wind up and the 0 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And he'll come back with one in the third as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. 3 and 1 to him now. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and two now. Three two pitch. He is swung on and missed strike three. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Here's Didi Gregorius. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Gallo is after it. He slides and makes the catch. A beautiful play to end the inning. A fine sliding catch here will take us to break. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this.
So next to the plate for Texas, Leading Carlos for Perez. Rangers. As we move on to the bottom Catcher. of inning number three. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A and a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. That misses two and oh. Swing and a miss. Might have got a piece actually. It's two and one. Now the two one pitch. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Perez is retired and there's one away. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Here's Elvis Andrus now. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. High in the air down the right field line. Heading after it is Judge. And he makes the catch in the corner. Ready for another chance. Delino DeShields reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. With two outs they're not playing him to bunt here and he didn't show it there but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well and he can definitely run. Here's a fly ball well hit. Two out, nobody on. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Rangers set down in order. They still trail one nothing. Here's Neil Walker as we begin the top of the fourth. Second baseman, Neil Walker. Now the pitch. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Walker has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Gallo arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Giancarlo Stanton looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. In the air, out to right. Chu has a read on it. Two down. Riding in once again, Greg Bird. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Gallo on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're up one to nothing. Digging in to try it again, Adrian Beltre. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Here's 
Here comes the first pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Way in front of that fastball. Hey, that's another nice two-seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee, getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. Now the 0-2 to Beltran. Still no balls and two strikes. Another 0-2 coming. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Here's Joey Gallo now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Hey, Dero, that's a one-out single right there. And, hey, the pitcher hasn't pitched out of the stretch in a while. He's been pretty sharp so far in this one. Yeah, and hopefully that runner right there can get his attention a little bit more diverted on first base, and then he leaves a cookie over the middle of the plate. A tough slider that just catches the corner for a strike. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well, and one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. One there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. See the speedy Brett Gardner start things out when we come back. We played four full. It's the Yankees one and the Rangers nothing. Here's Brett Gardner now. He popped out in his first trip. Center fielder number 11. Brett Gardner. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And the changeup is way low that time. One one. Strike two swinging. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes. That's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. So one one. And he fouls this one off. The pitch. Shot weakly to the left. Throw got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Now batting, number 25. Digging in for his second at bat, number 25 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. No balls in one strike. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. 
We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. So the two-out base hit in the top of the inning is still alive. Up next for the Yankees. You know, Dero, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Very rarely, Matt, you see a first pitch changeup hit out of the ballpark. That tells me right now that this guy was up there looking for the changeup in that last at bat. We'll see if they pitch him any differently here. Strike called. Now the throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Boy, you know, d -Row, every pitcher loves that. Shortstop does a great job just to knock that ball down to keep it from the outfield to keep that runner from advancing all the way to home. Yeah, and, and as a former middle infielder, Dan, we, we love this stuff. This is what gets you jacked up, trying to save runs for your pitcher, give you another chance to execute and get us out of this inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Outside with the cut fastball there, and it's a two-ball count. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. The 2 0 -oh. is swung on and missed, strike one. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. That is entirely too high. Two and two. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Popped him up. Perez is there. And that ends the inning. Yanks strand a pair, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Stepping in, Shin Su Chu. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Right fielder, Shin Su Chu. First delivery to him on the way. A high fastball is in there. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And 
And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy, wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Gardner going back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Up next for the Rangers. Here's Jerickson Profar. Jerickson Profar. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. He's around first, heading for two. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of role they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. And that'll bring up Carlos Perez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Hard on the ground toward short, and that's through into left field for a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He grounds it sharply to third. He'll go the short way to Walker at second for the force, and that ends the inning. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Ready for another chance? Didi Gregorius. Gregorius. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit back up the middle. Andrews fields it cleanly. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. But nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike one to start the at bat. And it's one and one. And it's one and two. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. Now more with a 1-2. And a swing and a miss as Walker is down on strikes for the first down. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. 
good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Giancarlo Stanton now. From the stretch. No balls and a strike to count. Gregorius, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Owen, oh, two count. Here's the pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The 0 2 once more is taken. That's ball one. One run, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Missed with a breaking ball. The 2 2. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Smoke toward third. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Leading off the inning, Delino De Shields, as they'll Leading look to get something Rangers. going here and even this game up. First pitch Shields. on its way. Here's a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, meanwhile now, this is trouble down that right field line. This should be extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. Taken in by Gregorius. Throw on to first in time, one away. How about it? Ready for another shot now. Joey Gallo. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. Joey Gallo with a two-run shot. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Rangers move ahead. It's now 2-1. to one. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. The short hit hard. Gregorius has it. 
throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. The right fielder number 17. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. And that's right there, and we're even at 1. with a two ball one strike count here that's a tough pitch to throw right there that front door curveball just missed hitting that inside corner that's a very difficult pitch I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away and unfortunately that one stayed inside he's fallen behind now three and one Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. 3-2 pitch. Now Chu will lay off ball four here, and he's going to reach. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Here's Rognit Odor now. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. He's set. Here it comes. And that one just missed outside. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Chu, the runner at first with two gone. Mm, right down the shoot that time, one and two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Throw to first. Line drive base hit. Throw into third. Throw won't get him. You'll only see about 10 of these pitches a year. The change up on a tee in the middle of the plate. But tip your hat to the batter right there. He did not come unglued, stayed within himself, and drove it for a base hit. Into the box, Jurickson Profar as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. A hidden two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And a curveball. This one clocked at 78, and it's 0 2. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. But two here in the Rangers' half of the inning, and they come on this two-run home run. The five, six, and seven hitters to start the seventh. It's now two to one, Texas. Welcome back to Arlington. The Rangers on top in this one as we get a look at our game summary through the first six innings of play. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. First pitch coming. Here it is. Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third, and yes, sir, it's strike one. The 
the wind up and the 0 1. Grounded back up the middle. There is Andrus. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Boy, this is an absolute gift to them, especially when they've had so much trouble getting anybody on base. So now the leadoff hitter is aboard and might be looking to run. They've got to do whatever they can to get some offense going. Ranger Skipper is up off his seat in the dugout now to make the walk to the mound. And he's going to go get the big left-hander. That'll be all for Matt Moore. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Jake Diekman will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Stepping in now, Brett Gardner. Now a bunt attempt here. Well, this is foul for the first strike. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Ball one. His past history with Jake Diekman. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. That's one of the hardest things to do in this game. You know he's sitting fastball. That ball starts to slide away from him. You have to have some serious strong hands and wrists not to commit right there. Softly on a line to third. And Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. And he's safe. How about it? Aaron Hicks. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Aaron Hicks. He was a ground out victim last time up. First offering on its way. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. You can't ask for anything more than that. The tying run moves over to third now with only one out, so we'll see how the infield decides to play it here. Matt Bush takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Number 25 will be the first to face him here as he'll stand in with two men in scoring position and only one away. First pitch of the at-bat. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. This is going to be an interesting pitch right here. Does he bury something in the dirt? Does he go for the double play and give up the run? Or does he go for the punch out? Let's see what happens. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. 
Riding in once again, Roberto Perez. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at-bat to watch. Set and the pitch. The fastball down near the shoe tops. Bush, a California born ball player. He was a first round pick back in the 2004 first year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. The 1 0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. The Yanks strand a pair. Our score remains 2-1. to one. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Yankees, number 43, Adam Warren. And that'll bring up Carlos Perez. He's one for two in this one. Carlos Perez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Oh. Pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. To two and two now. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Perez is retired, and there's one away. And there's the signal now from the crew chief. As we expected, we will have a rain delay. Begins to be dicey, Matt, if you're one of these managers right now. It looks like this could be delayed somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour. Do you leave your pitchers in? Most of the ballparks have areas down below where guys can ride the bike or get on the treadmill. But you start getting into that 45 minute to an hour delay, you're starting to really flirt with danger. I'll be interested to see what the managers do with these two pitchers. Elvis Andrews stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Comes set with the 0 and 1 to third. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. Center fielder, number three. Delano. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Delino De Shields, a hit in two tries for him so far. First pitch of the at bat. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. Two out, nobody on. Hard hit ball to second. And that'll get down for a two out single. The third baseman, number 29, Adrian. Elsewhere. So it's a runner at first with two men out and set to stand in. A guy who seems to get better with age, the dangerous Adrian Beltre. Here's a look over to first, back in standing. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Bouncer up the middle. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Rangers leave one.
They lead it two to one. Jose Leclerc has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 62, Jose Leclerc. Here's big Aaron Judd. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Here's Didi Gregorius. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Side two and one. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Three and one, here it is. And it's fouled away. The three two pitch. Weak roller right side. Flips it underhand. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Here's Neil Walker. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's another 0-2. And a neck-high fastball that time. To two balls and two strikes now. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A-B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on.
Hey, we all love home runs and gaffers, but I love the mano e mano right here. Five foul balls in this at bat. He continues to make this pitcher work. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get in a field down to third and no swing. It's ball three. And it's fouled away. The next three two. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so frustrating. He's got two outs, and he wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible. But that hitter makes him work his tail off, and he still loses him. Alex Flodio takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Number 58, Alex Flodio. Giancarlo Stanton will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. one home hit hard down the line but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes the one two and this is fouled at the plate Walker leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Sinker, three and two now. Greg Bird would be next. with it ball four so that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second he did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with the left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now no hits in three tries so far he struck out once As a look, now the pitch. Nope. Lefty versus lefty, and the first pitch misses for ball one. Claudio, a native of Puerto Rico. He was selected in the 27th round back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Just missing here, 2-0. and oh. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base, find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Big spot, two out, possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. 
you can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now the three and two pick. Into center field, line drive base hit. Now a long throw home. He beats the tag safe. And we are tied here in the eight. You know, d in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. One oh fouled away. The one one hit in the air after straight away left. Gallo is under it. He hauls it in, and the potential go ahead run will not come around to score. Yankees forced to settle for one. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And we are tied 2-2. Your attention please. Now pitching for New York. Number 68, Dylan Batanson. Here's Joey Gallo now. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Left fielder, Joey Gallo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Well, this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. 1 and 0 oh the count. Potensis, 30 years of age. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Yeah, Maddie, there's three dates the time you get called up, and the time you get to arbitration, and one when you finally hit free agency, where you have a chance to truly enjoy this game and get paid for all the hard work. And this is the start of it. The arbitration process allows these guys to finally finally start making some real dollars in this game. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Breaking ball stays high. Previous history against Dellen Batances. Not a big sample size. 0 for 1. One out. Nobody on. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. It was a walk in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. Good breaking ball that time in for a strike. And he fouls this one off. 
Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And this game is still tied at two and two. Tony Barnett will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Aaron Hicks will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. First offering on its way. Fouled off. Here's the 0-2. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now batting. Number 25. Digging in to try it again. Number 25. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Just a tick behind for a strike. Now the 0-1. Hit out towards second. And there are two away now. Now batting. Catherine. Roberto Perez. Digging in once again. Roberto Perez. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. First pitch of the at bat. This is line to left. Gallo is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they go quietly here in this half inning. All squared up in Arlington through eight and a half. The Rangers have a chance to walk it off. Digging in and looking for more, Rugnet Odor. And you may notice the usual closer is not in the game here with the save opportunity on the table. Yeah, he's worked a few days in a row, Matt, so we were told before the game by the skipper he wanted to avoid using him if possible. So that means they will look to close this thing out without him. Oh, good knuckle curve, 0-2. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. First pitch on its way. Popped him up. Perez over to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The batter. Catcher. Ready Carlos. once again. Carlos Perez. He's working on a one for three thus far. The chance is set. Here comes the first pitch. High and deep to right center. Gardner on the move. He makes the catch, and we are headed to extra innings. Rangers set down in order. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two -two. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Aaron Judge. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0-4 ball game right here. From the stretch. A ball and no strikes.
the 1 0. It's the outside corner, strike one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Cutter got up on him pretty quickly there, and it's back to even two and two. Don't kid yourself. He's well aware that he has the hat trick right now. And after that swinging strike, he's looking at the golden sombrero. The 2-2. Two -two. It was laid off, and the count runs full. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 two -two pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Now the three and two pitch. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. So digging in now, Didi Gregorius. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now is still nobody out. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice is melted on this guy. He had been cold coming into this game, but that being his third knock, I guarantee you my man's smiling on the inside. Standing in now, Neil Walker. This will show bunt and come up empty at strike one. You have to find a way to get this bunt down right here. Advance the runners, get them into scoring position, second and third. Anything you have to do to execute this bunt needs to be done right here. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Go ahead, run to third there after the bunt. The sacrifices aren't everyone's favorite play because you give up precious outs, but they do have a lot of ways now to take the lead. So a big moment in the ball game here. Giancarlo Stanton. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat. So it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Next for New York, Greg Bird. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. Here's the first pitch. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Boy, it's really fun for me watching this vet out there battling in this tough spot. We've seen him in jams like this many times before, so he has plenty of experience to be able to get out of these kind of jams. And he's thinking more about that than the task at hand, which is getting this hitter out. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Judge at third, Gregorius over at second. Stanton is over at first with one away. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Into the box now, Brett Gardner. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. 
Odor is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. A couple of walks, but no damage. A chance to win it now as we head to the bottom of the 10th, still tied. David Robertson comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. So the Rangers batting order turns over and set to go. Elvis Andrews, he was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set. Here it comes. Now this is chopped foul to home plate. It's 0-1. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. And here's the second generation big leaguer, Delino DeShields. No balls in one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Robertson, a 32-year-old veteran. He was a 17th round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to do. Adrian. Up next for the Rangers, Adrian Beltre. He's one for four for the game. Here comes the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. High pop-up. Walker waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Score remains two to two. Ready for another chance? Aaron Hicks. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. hit hard on the ground is short and Andrews will not be able to get there it's a base hit with that the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning and he needed extra oh, innings nice. to get it but Number there's his first five. hit of the game and that'll keep the hit streak alive and kicking and d -Roll, that's one of the beautiful things about the game of baseball right you go extra innings that lineup turns over and was able to get him one extra AB yeah and he'd be lying right now if he said he wasn't thinking about it the boys hooked him up right there pitching staff extended the game a little bit one more plate appearance and he extends the hit streak into the box number 25 as he'll run up to bunt here but misses for strike one he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. behind 0 and 2 now now the 0 2 pitch hard hit ball to second 
That's through. He's got a base hit. His second in this one. Two for five now. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now is still nobody out. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now, we've got a couple of guys on. In now, Roberto Perez. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Go ahead, run to third there after the bunt. The sacrifices aren't everyone's favorite play because you give up precious outs, but they do have a lot of ways now to take the lead. Here's big Aaron Judd. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, now and the force play is now in order. DD. Gregorio. Keone Kella jogs in from bullpen, and it'll be the closer's job to try to keep this ball game tied here in the 11. Didi Gregorius will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Here's the first pitch. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Bases are loaded with only one out. A and a fastball just below the knees, ball one. One one pitch is a curveball just off the black. Two and one now. Kella, just 24 years of age. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Hey, I think if you ask this guy honestly how his season's gone so far, he'd tell you he's not happy with it. It's been kind of an average year for him, but he has time to get hot and make that salary push. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On the first, and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Another chance to win it here to the bottom of the 11th, all tied. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Joey Gallo hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. He set and the pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Not the ideal spot to be right here. 2-0 count on a real good hitter. Boy, you're going to have to make some really good pitches now. Now a cut fastball finds the target, two and one. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. The three one. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. One out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gregorius has a play. Two down. All right, fielder number 17, Shin Su Su. 
Shinsu Chu at the plate now. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. He's 0 for 7. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0 2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Nothing across here this half of the inning. 11 innings in the books now, and we are tied 2 2. Here's Neil Walker, and he'll be the one to begin the inning. Second baseman, Neil Walker. Here's the first pitch to him. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right-hander's begun to warm up out there. One and no delivery. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. The 3 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. De Shields is there. He's got it one away. Digging in once again, Giancarlo Stanton. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now here it comes. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is DeShields. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Next for New York, Greg Bird. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. And it's fouled away. Behind 0 and 2 now. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0 2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So the Yanks go one, two, three. And this game is still tied at two and two. Tommy Kingley will be summoned here to start the home 12th, and the best case scenario for him is to take us to the 13th. Here's 
Here's Rognit Odor now. He'll step Lady in trying to do something about this 2-2 two -two tie. Rognit Odor. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. Behind 0-2 now. Here it comes, 0-2. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. Here's Jerickson Profar. He got under one and popped out his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Hey, that's a well-executed fastball right there at the bottom of the zone. If he stays there all day, it's going to make for a long day for the offense. Unless they're willing to bend their legs and get down and create some different launch angle, he's on point. Slow roller back to the mound. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batting, catcher, Carlos. And that'll bring up Carlos Perez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right over the middle, knee high. Bases are empty here with two men out. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking the zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. Ready with the 0-2. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Rangers set down in order. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two -two. Here's Brett Gardner now. Leading off of the Yankees. Center fielder number 11. Brett Gardner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Here it comes. One and oh. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Zero. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Got to love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. Two balls and two strikes now. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Still even at 2-2. Two and two. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse, and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3-2. and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you've got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Stepping in now, Aaron Hicks. Swing and oh my, hit him with the high. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they've taken the lead, it's now 3-2. to two.
Wow, he really hit that ball well. Put a great swing on it with great extension, and it sailed right out of here. Now batting, number 25. Standing in now, number 25, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Now here's the pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. him up. Perez moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. Up next for the game. Roberto Perez will stride in again and before he takes his cuts here let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot but it definitely helped get this offense going. First pitch on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. When a guy's featuring big time velocity like this, you have to be on the fastball. It's your only chance. You'll tip your hat on some nasty off speed stuff, but you got to be ready for the heater. Nothing in two count and the pitch and he strikes him out here for out number three but the damage has been done is now they'll need some extra inning heroics to pull this one out so they pick up a run on the solo home run as that will give them the lead and now this crowd finds their club behind the eight ball here as they don't want to wind up on the losing end of this thing the Yankees lead it three to two Aroldis Chapman enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. No balls and a strike to count. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. He'll throw down to first, one away. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. On that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. He's set and the one two pitch and he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Two out, nobody on. 
One ball, one strike to count. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. He brings it in and the Yankees have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Yeah, and that's a sweet win, especially on the road. They took the lead in the top of the 13th and held on to it in the bottom to secure this win. 3-2 to two to finish in tonight's game. Tommy Kingley wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Aroldis Chapman records the save, his 18th. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees. Three runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base. For the Rangers, two runs on eight hits. One error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 57 minutes. A reminder that post-game buses are available at the first base gate 20 minutes after the conclusion of play and will drop riders off at locations across the street from Lincoln Square Fountain or on the north side of Lincoln Square.